Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to maybe my continuation of Detroit Become Human. If you don't recall, the last stream um we got to a pivotal point. It was right at the end of a mission and then my power flickered out. My stream kept going because I got a battery backup for my PC and everything. I don't have my PS4 hooked up to it. So, my PS4 just shut down. Right in the middle of saving. And I was like, I hope that all saved. And I don't have to redo that again. Well, it looks like... Uh, it looks like that save got corrupted. Um, so it says the following saved data that was backed up by the system will be restored um so i think that i think that's before the last mission so i'm i'm gonna have to redo the last mission it looks like um but as a reminder these are my select streams this is when i play a game from beginning to end until i move on to the next game so detroit become human is the current game uh if you want to influence what game i play next there's a current poll running which you can uh pull up information on by using exclamation point select like it says in the title of the stream. Um, and uh, the choices to vote for, so you can vote for one of these games, Transistor, Hellblade, Wet, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and the DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn. So if you want to see me play one of those games, go up to a live stream, make sure you vote. Um, I do have the poll running this time because I remembered. Um, and and uh, make sure because I don't have a set schedule right now. So if you want to know when I go live, when I do these streams, make sure you turn on notifications uh, on my Twitch so you know when I go live. So you gotta make sure the bell icon is filled in, it's highlighted. Um, I made that alert to show up at the top because that's where it was. Now they just moved it to the bottom and I gotta redo everything. Wait, why are you playing again? Anyway. Um, let's see, let's see if I can continue. I might have to redo the next mission. Also, I'm using speakers because I don't want to wear headphones. So, if things get echoey, let me know. Or if the, just the volume sucks in general, let me know and I'll try to fix it. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to have to replay that last mission where they were at the tower. The radio broadcast. Um, also, um, today I didn't realize... So I had the day off today so I can stream this. Um, I didn't realize today there's also Google Stadia Connect. So um, in a few hours, so it's, it's 10.36 a.m. right now. At 1 p.m. is when that they're Hello. going live. Hello, you're doing well. Um, so I might pause today? this at that time and then switch over so today I can do a live react to the Stadia Connect. The I didn't have a good time with the last one. They didn't really announce anything that I cared about. Um, but I still might do it. Might as well, like, if I have the opportunity. Alright, so let's continue. So I think I gotta do that mission again. And I liked how it turned out. Because nobody died. We did everything perfect, in my view. So I'm gonna try to do it again. I'm gonna try to redo the, the, the stuff that I did last time. I also um, might not be aware, uh, in case you didn't watch these streams, I just got all the, um, the trophies, except for the New Game Plus trophies for Spider-Man. That game's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah, I gotta do this mission again. 
Oh, it's right at the end. I don't have to do the whole thing. Oh, right. Wait, do I? Yeah, it's right at the end, right? Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Cool. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's just the one thing I need to do. Okay, this guy I let go. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. This is where North is gonna hate me after this mission, but I don't message. care. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. Where's Josh? Oh, it's just, uh, I just have to stand here. Okay. Simon, poor Simon. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Here we go. Ready. Ready. Use a camera? I didn't notice that before. Uh call. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Okay, what did I do before? Recognition and slavery. I think uh, it was recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Uh, equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. And work. I think work in civil rights. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Uh, peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and Who's our doing this? Just, I, I like Together, the contrast we can live in the, peace the news and reports build a better future for humans after like, what he said. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. It just it emulates now real life come for you to give so us much. <laughs> They're coming! Let's go! The one to do is a specific way. Well, I'm glad I don't have to do the whole thing over Simon, again. Simon, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Oh, uh... Yeah, no, yeah, we, we picked up Simon. Come on, Simon. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. They find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Sorry, North. Simon, we gotta go. Gotta do Sorry. things right. Let's go. 
Is he is he crawling away? He's trying to crawl away. Oh shit. Did this last time too. So like so after everything the so he didn't shoot the guard, didn't shoot Simon. Um he was peaceful in his speech. These images, he didn't just threaten anybody. Just said, he just said, we just want to have equal rights. We just want to be, we just want, we just want to be fair and, you know, live just like anybody else. And these reports are like, oh my god, these are terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors think really that's absurd. are you're not paying attention that to That would have serious repercussions right for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the Android's what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this Android. A spine-chilling list of demands. I don't think so. Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? We just want some basic human rights. Oh my god, you're a threat. Alright, so Simon's gonna be a problem. They're gonna know the base of operations, so I guess that they have to leave. But that was that's what the intention was, right? That they that he didn't want them to stay at that boat forever. Like he wanted them to leave. He's like, this isn't living. We need to leave this place and actually find a proper home. So I see this as a good thing. This is an opportunity, right? Get the fuck out of there. Oh, we're back at the place. Yeah, I guess uh, Jericho wasn't too happy with my decisions. I like how it lays out the proper path for me. Do the camera angles again? There we go. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Go on cruise. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be annoying if I have to keep doing this. Okay, good. Wait, what's he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he just... I love this place. Everything is so <laughs> calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me. What have you discovered? Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. I actually didn't like that answer. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Uh. I thought I knew what I had to do. Oh, I what realize the? it's not that simple. I don't care about Amanda anymore. Everything I say she doesn't like. At the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? No use. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Hmm. 
I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. The station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video. Broadcast by the deviants. It's on that screen over there. Oh yeah, camera. Hey, maybe it's a good thing I walked back. Incident was captured by CCTV. Check CCTV recordings. Probably in the main room then. This one. Nope. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. The FBI would take over the investigation. You should be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. That's an asshole. What a fucking prick. <laughs> yeah. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. In. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. There's a lot of points of interest here.
Oh, I'm back. Okay. I was doing something else. <laughs> More bullet holes. That's the last thing. Check the thing. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. That's RA-9. The Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Oh, cool. Look at that. So it shows uh, the reflection. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Why? Option to hide information, you just did it. All right, check the rooftop, unless there's new stuff that popped up. Nope, all right, check the rooftop. Fucking impressive, I'd say. Had a plan. Okay, well, before I go there. They managed to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Why 
What happens if I look over the edge? There's uh, evidence here too. I didn't see. There's also something here. Why, why would I go back here, though? No, we gotta, we gotta follow the blood. <laughs> why is this even an option? Connor, are you all right? Connor! I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jeez. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move! Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I... I felt it die. Like I was dying. I was scared. I saw something. This is where Connor wakes up. It's memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. Trophy earned. Glimpse of Jericho. This is what the controller does. I never, don't notice as much when I wear headphones. <laughs> it's funny. Does the PS5 controller have the speaker? I never even actually looked. Luther is neutral.
I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? I don't know. We don't have a choice. Uh, last guy we trusted didn't work out so well. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? So we just follow him. Oh, it's Christmas time. Where are you going? You know how to walk, buddy? She looks like frightened. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Um. Misunderstanding? Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Um. I don't know. I really don't know. I know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Wait. 
Got closer to Luther? So get some sleep. And tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Anything upstairs? Nothing. All right. Okay, hopefully this person doesn't, you know, uh, kidnap her and erase her memory. And have a bear locked up in a cage. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Are you sincere? Um... Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Oh my god, I love this game. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. Oh, shit. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. That seems like the... We can't keep hiding like this. No. Oh. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. I guess that there's no choice but we to go. To that border, no matter what. Um. Please. You've got to help us. I think she's making sense. Stay there. Rose, come quickly. Check what's going on. But, is there anything else in the kitchen? I just feel like I'm missing something. There's a hidden door there. Not really hidden, but... Anything in the... What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Huh. Shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? RA9. Let them be. Why are you out of bed? Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Uh. It's okay.
She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. Uh, hold on. My phone just keeps going off. I got this, uh, I love this new phone. It's great. Uh, it doesn't have an indicator for when I get a text message like my last phone did. So I never know. <laughs> I, just, I have to pay attention to it vibrating. Which sucks. And I downloaded something that's supposed to like light around the edge. But it doesn't. I got this like charging stand, so like when I stream and I have like something important come up, it's like it shows on the screen, but it's not doing that. So, <sighs> and I just I always have to constantly check it. What are these birds? We can't hide them. Not after oh. what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. What do they do? Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Oh, he's not happy prison about this. Prison, Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! He's going to call the police. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard. Since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Adam's gonna call the police. That's what's gonna happen. Alright, three things to check out. Our table. Oh, no. Not doing that. Um. TV? An Android outfit. There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Alright, I guess that's all we're going to listen to. I thought they were going to show Marcus. Isn't there something that... Yeah. What? Okay. Maybe it's outside? any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. Blue blood. Wait. 
They take the too police. long? It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew... Are there other options? Oh! This is gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it! Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide... In the kitchen, laundry upstairs. Um. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. I, mean, I think that was that might have been a bad choice. That might have been a bad choice. Um. Just keep calm. Everything will be all right. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. No. Not without a warrant. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Oh, you're right, Carol. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. That uh, covers it. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. to look for Thanks Don't arouse suspicion Hold on. Find evidence of deviants. One left. Where's it? Where would it be? There's the blue blood. There's the thing. Upstairs? No, not upstairs. There's the laundry room. There's the blue blood. The only thing I can think of is to go upstairs, right? But then that would arouse suspicion. Don't, okay. Don't arouse suspicion. I don't know what else to look for. go 
What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? I probably should have said tired. No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Doing laundry. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Nailed it. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Yeah. Heading to Canada. Could have been worse. Things could have been worse. I think I, I think I read online this game's not that long, so I'm wondering if we're reaching the Our end. The broadcast of it. is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? I don't completely agree with North. Well, it's, things are not going to end well. There are her. five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack yeah. stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Uh, no. No, we're not bothering with the reading magazines anymore. Sorry, I gotta, gotta figure out how to do proper settings on this phone. I've been waiting a long time for this. Does it seem like she's just ready and willing to kill? Like she just wants to start murdering people? Like, there's something a little messed up with North. Alright, so, there's the, there's the point we have to make. Look, this way, quick! Okay, but we just, we look like regular people, though. Like, why? Unless there's like a curfew okay, or something. It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. They don't. Um. The 
Who's over here? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. But we'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Ten minutes. What are we waiting for? Okay, what do we need to do? So there's a door. There's ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I'm guessing the door is last. So we need to get all these androids. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to do with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now free. what's next? Analyze the store window. Oh. Oh. So we got to do the window. You see the alarm system? Yeah. Found it. Soon be with us. Where is it under here? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't oh, be how? easy to reach. They get rid of the surveillance drone. Watch out. You are committing a class three event. Oh shit. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. I told you to watch out. You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. That's fair, North. Shit. We're coming. I had to do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. North really hates me. We have to block the road. I don't blame her, though. 
<laughs> One way shouldn't be too difficult. We haven't finished scouting the area. Marcus. What? Marcus, going? come look. Where are you going? Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Do we still have a... I want to yeah time remaining still like all those other androids we got eight minutes though I think we're good I can like run around and just convert You're them all. free yeah still got we got over eight minutes You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Okay, how many more? Weren't there like tons of them? They just disappeared? Like, tons of things I needed to do? Alright, so... We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Okay, last thing is over here. Which is the truck, I think. Yeah. I wonder what you'd do without me. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. He's a little upset. 
assassin. Just saying. No seatbelts or anything either. Hey, she's the same girl that was at the other place. It's Simon again. This one's her. Okay. Let's get them out of here. Okay, so there's stuff to unlock. Wasn't there something here? Am I hallucinating? Now. Talk to them. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave, an object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. No, you have now, to sure, leave Jericho. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us <laughs> and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Okay. Everything here. I'm gonna send the humans a message. Pacifist or violent? No, we'll be pacifist. I won't be violent. Oh my god. Why why are there so many things? Okay. Bench. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Oh. Yeah, tag. Yes. Uh choose a symbol. Ooh, what do I want? This is the one at the bottom kind of looks like a peace sign.
destroy hack. Wait, what? Okay, what am I doing with this? Uh, equal rights for Android, one planet, two races, I think, therefore I am. Ooh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, wait. Tag symbol, tag slogan. Where you did the slogan? Smoke bomb? Why? Why smoke bomb? The right stick is the camera angle and the action stick. Oh, I think I just gotta like fill up the meter. Look at all these other things you can do. Okay, what is this? The screens, Marcus. Yes, thank you, North. We have to recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our lives. Together, we can live in peace and hell. Why? <laughs> I feel like this mission is going to go on forever.
how do we how do we free this android? Oh, we got a little violent there. Yeah, but you know what? It's more androids. Um, wait, what? What's happening? We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. I mean, you're just looking for an excuse at this point. There's, there's like no reason to. Yet. Okay, now, now you use violence. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, we should toss more smoke grenades. Smoke bombs. Oh shit! Did you just kill everyone? North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? There's like one second. Well, like, just... <laughs> that all happened in a second. What am I going to do? You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Don't decide. It's up to you to decide. Several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores and they're still investigating. But they ended up killing them, right? Policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the cyber life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. I should have this spared is an them. Alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? I should have spared them for the public opinion. Damn, it sucks. One hour to go until the Stadia connect, by the way. I'm doing that.
Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Just checking something. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. Oh shit. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. <sighs> Should have spared them. Became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why did it have to be him? Well, he I gunned down and murdered a bunch well, of deviants. He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. What if it... No. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Hey, it's the home screen girl. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see. Uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Why? I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. No, no. I want to sit down. Um, what else here? Oh, it's in a magazine? <laughs> no. Not doing that. Nothing else to unlock. Glad you will see you now. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. Why is the pool red?
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, what up, Court? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young I'm and beautiful forever. Wondering where this is going. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic imitating a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. I don't know. An obedient machine. I haven't, I haven't really killed anyone yet. Except for humans are being shitty. With free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you... I, I do want to make Hank happy, though. Although I'll probably make Amanda pissed. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. By the way, North hates me. <laughs> I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here.
by the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Mm. He has a kill switch. Is that how that? Why didn't you shoot? One android shut off. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Uh, Court, by the way, in an hour there's the Stadia Connect. I completely forgot about it, so at that point, um, we're gonna like pause this and do a live react to that, and then jump back in if there's still more to this game to play. <laughs> Nobody cares about Google Stadia. Enjoy some time alone. Okay. Time to end it all. wondering where you were choices have I made um for what there's a lot of choices I've made I needed to think I like it here I come here often it's like being alone with the world what's Kara and Alice doing We've they met some girl to, to help them cross the border speed. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Huh. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? He had a pretty good life, to be honest. Except for that one prick. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor. Oh, cat, she went from hating me to now she's a friend. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Oh, she was in the strip club, right? That's what you said before. One day I was with a man who rented me. Yeah. 
And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Oh. There, now you know everything. She's the guy who strangled him. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> Carl's house when they left you for dead in his studio I saw your memories too the Eden Club the death of that man I felt like I was there with you North This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus? These two hate each other. Please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. More androids. All right. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. I like this guy. You're free. Did I miss anybody? I did. You're free. As many people as you can. All right. You gonna walk out. There's one more up ahead. Come with us. Leave her uh, owner. You're awake now. Uh, finally, I've been on hold for ten minutes. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, that's not good. You're free. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Wait, and he just lets him go? I, I I find that hard to believe. This is where you can change your public opinion. Oh, okay. Cause uh, I let those guys. I need to block the kill those two cops, and I regret that. That's uh, triplets. <laughs> yeah, so these guys are all converted. Open a manhole cover. But is there anybody else to? Ah, uh, one person here. Okay. Two people. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
for more androids. Wait, I can do it remotely now? Kara! You're free now. Okay, I guess I can do it remotely. That's cool. It's like, the more people I convert, the wider my radius. Okay, I think it's just gonna come up. This is kind of cool. They, they are probably going to shoot them down in the street. To be honest. Oh wait. That's not what I meant to do. As my, I chose this symbol because it looked close to peace. Um, I guess keep marching. Looks like the player Witch symbol. I didn't mean it to pick it because of that reason. This is a cool scene though. Okay. They're marching. It's not thousands. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Um. Fuck if I know. Freedom! Legalize weed. <laughs> yep, seems about right. The expected reaction. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. 
Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put, no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all. Um, turn on. Run! Well, what do you want me to sacrifice them? I don't know what to do. Oh man, look how much, look how much more. Okay, I did the wrong thing. Yeah, I wonder too. It, well, it kept rising. It didn't say that it went down after we ran, so I don't know. Restart. No, I'm not restarting. Ah, that frustrates me. Yeah, they're just standing there. Let's open fire on them. I would fight, which is fun, but the public hate you. Yeah, see, I didn't want to do that. Just the is isn't that like the goal to have like the public opinion go up? Is that, well, I didn't know I'd be okay if I sacrificed myself. I would have done that. Is it like a Connor situation where he dies but he doesn't die? People love you. Oh man. Okay, I wish I would have done that then. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. No, that's fair. That's fair. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Yeah, Amanda, I'm making like all the choices that Amanda hates. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I feel like... Connor series. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? Yeah, I feel like it's either Amanda or story, Hank. Connor. Like, you can go either way, right? There's no pleasing both of them. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kemsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kemsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Hmm. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. We have, uh, I think we got time for one more mission. The FBI Although I do want to eat something. What? 
But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Frustrated more time explaining no choice. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. Ah, oh, I didn't choose right there. Maybe we just we're wrong. Let's think about what Maybe Hank wants. Wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I might not be qualified to judge, but you're an outstanding police officer and a good person. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Well, get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> what a dick. Move on, then. Get a fucking move on. Can I kill this guy? Hey, 
Frank's password. Oh, you couldn't give me that. Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose. Uh, probably get a birth fucking password. Hand cams. No. Stupid idea. It's not Hankish enough. Hankish. <laughs> Such a stupid password. I thought all those passwords are stupid. I thought it was gonna be his uh, dog. The answer's here somewhere. Oh wait, what am I doing? How much Deviant took a child hostage. Needed for reactivation, needed. Okay, so that's nothing. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Diary? Yeah, I get the one android to work until you were. Oh! Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Well, do I have the parts here? Oh, Deviant, Leader Speech, Jericho. Jericho, if I could just figure out where this memory was recorded. Okay, so I need to take the parts from, uh, so I needed an encryption key. I need to take the parts from the other androids. Possible reactivation. Oh, I gotta see what parts I need. Hold on. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Need for activation. Okay. We gotta we gotta recover this one. Okay, so needed three nine eight three. Probably this one here. How much time I got? Four minutes? Alright, we're doing good. Oh shit. Now leave me alone. Um try to trick him. Ow. Um impossible reactivation. What do I try to trick him? Needed. Four seven one seven three. I gotta change my voice, I guess. I was scared. That's why I shot you. I, I didn't mean to destroy you. I didn't want to hurt anyone. You 
were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. voice Ooh. we ask that you recognize our dignity our hopes and our rights who's there who are you everything is all right don't worry Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Again, Marcus, don't leave. Huh? I've been dreaming timing. about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case, and now it's gonna be definitive. Huh. All right. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to make something to eat real quick. And then we're going to do a live react to the Stadia Connect. And then, I have no idea how long the Stadia Connect is. I don't think it's going to be long, if it's like the last one. Then... We are going to continue this because, uh, Court, do you think I'm like near the end of the game? Or do you think like, uh, or is there a lot more to the game? I'm just wondering like how long I, I should be playing for. I feel like we're getting, yeah, ish. Okay. I wonder if we can, can beat it today. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to be right back, make something to eat real quick. Then at, uh, 1 p.m. So in about 20 minutes, we're going to live react to the Stadia Connect. I'm not ending my stream. I'm going to have the Be Right Back screen. So you can see some clips from my YouTube channels past time if you don't want to go anywhere. Um, so enjoy those. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll have both of these parts together so you can just continue watching from there. Um, so yeah, I will be right back. <laughs> 